Namaste. I'm Amal Atsari from Nepal. I'm working in an NGO there. Uh, the name is uh, Namsaling Community Development Center. I work there as a sustainable development officer. It's been two years since I'm working there. Uh, here in Israel, uh, I participated in a uh, Massa funded course in, uh, in Weiss Center for Development Studies. And during my time here, I, um, I have, together with my friends uh, Badal from Uzbekistan, Sindamani from India, Anzalita from Philippines, and Richard uh, from Ghana, we've developed a project uh, uh, with, uh, with the title called, with the title uh, "Proactive Use of Remittance." Uh, as the name suggests, this uh, this project is basically uh, focused on using the remittance that that is being received in Nepal uh, in a very proactive way. In a proactive way, uh, but before I go into the actual content of the project, let me first shed some light into the context. Uh, Nepal actually is a remittance receiving country. We've been uh, it's uh, each each day near about 2,000 people are, are going outside uh, in search of uh, uh, foreign uh, 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 as a foreign labor migrants, and they are sending a lot of money. For example, uh, according to researchers, 54% uh, of our household of all household in Nepal are now receiving at least uh, are receiving remittance and. Uh, uh, according to research, it says that uh, when the, the, the amount of money received is uh, $100 per month. And the thing is, uh, the most important, and here the project, uh, this project, uh, by the name of, pro, by, the, by the name Proactive User Remittance, is, um, is, 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 is trying to use that, uh, use, the remit, use, the, 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 use the remittance that is being received in, in Nepal in a proactive way. The whole idea here is to, is to, is to, uh, is to form cooperatives and, and, um, and, and fund the cooperatives, uh, so form the, and fund the members of uh, the cooperatives uh, in, in doing some some agricultural related, uh, in agricultural related income generating activities, uh, which uh, which we expect would uh, would create some employment, will increase the income, and uh, uh, will 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 finally uh, raise their standard of living. Uh, uh, not only this, uh, this project uh, I suppose we suppose that uh, would also help in. Uh, help in, for example, uh, uh, decrease the uh, decrease the um, decrease the family problem, the social problem that Nepal is going through now. For example, uh, because a lot of because there are lots of migrants going outside and migrants going outside, uh, the families are breaking. You know, because it's because uh, the husband or wife are outside, the families are breaking back in Nepal. So we can address this problem from that uh, from this uh, from this project. Uh, most importantly, uh, now the thing uh, the thing that I, that we are trying to address from this uh, project is to is that we are trying to break this vicious cycle of remittance. You know. For example, uh, this remittance because it is not being used properly. Seventy nine percent of uh, of it is being used in, an, in, 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 in is being consumed in something. Uh, if food is it's consuming consumables in, in, in food and clothes, uh, which is not. Uh, uh, is consuming us. We want to use this money to to help uh, to help people uh, to, to to allow people to, to be uh, more productive, to be self-sufficient. So this project, I would I I think would be very helpful for uh, for the local level people in uh, um, uh, local level people in uh, Godwa VDC of uh, Dang district where we uh, want to implement this project. It's not as good as last time. I can 